Hello once again, this is Derek Barron. I'm the Product Manager for Rational Asset Manager. Today we're going to be looking at part four of our series, our demonstration series on SOA governance with WSRR ALE. Uh, again, that's a bundle of Rational Asset Manager and WebSphere Service Registry and Repository. So the topic for today's demonstration is on auditing and reporting, and this is how uh, these products can provide you with the uh, uh, planning support and the auditability you need need for your SOA governance. So we're going to be looking at auditing and reporting uh, to give you these key metrics uh, so that you have asset level reporting, uh, asset activities, and reports for the, the design and development assets that are part of your SOA governance linked over and federated with the runtime world where we have the live services in the registry and repository and they give you the ability to do, uh, again, auditability and traceability. So you'll see in the demonstration uh, how, we, uh, how the two products work together to provide you with uh, auditing and reporting. Okay, in part four of the demonstration, we're going to look at auditing, and this is critical to understanding who did what, when, and, and perhaps even why did they do it. Uh, both Rational Asset Manager and WSRR uh, provide a detailed audit trail capability, and this is really essential to SOA governance. Let's start here in uh, Rational Asset Manager with our uh, credit verification service specification. So every object, uh, every asset in Rational Asset Manager has a complete audit trail associated with it. In fact, you, you can see it uh, firsthand right here in the user interface. On the left-hand side, you can see a complete detailed history, and if you wanted to view it all, you could see the details of that. Uh, access to this information is, is, can be had in multiple ways. One of them is just through this web interface like we're doing here. Another is to use an RSS feed to get uh, these details via a newsreader if you wanted to. We also have all this information and even more available through our reporting URLs, which are these XML-based URLs that you can attach in into um, a web browser, uh, Microsoft Excel, or you can even connect up uh, through advanced reporting tools like from Cognos or Rational Insight or uh, whatever reporting package that you, you want to use can consume these reporting URLs. So here we see uh, you know, the date and time and, and activities of anything and everything that happens in Rational Asset Manager for these assets. Uh, so back to our general details, uh, you can do that. You can also subscribe, as I have shown earlier, you can subscribe to this asset so that any modification or change to it, you'll be notified about it. Uh, also, there's the statistics option that's available here where you can see asset usage, activity, uh, asset search history, uh, which can be a very important thing to understand how people are searching and finding your particular assets. And you can also do some dynamic analysis around related assets. Let's just take a quick look at asset usage. Uh, so this is one of our built-in reports, um, and you can define your time scale. Uh, you can kind of see a summary for the various usages, and you can click into those. Uh, in terms of usage, you can see uh, the distinction between whether uh, the asset was used in a build process or, or downloaded. In the usages versus views area here, this information in the demo is not great, but in a production instance, you would see a, a, a nice graph there of, of the difference between people viewing the asset and actually downloading or, or accessing programmatically the, the asset itself, like the linkages over to, to uh, WSRR. And then lastly, in this particular report, you can see all the people who have been accessing this asset, and you can, in fact, you can send them an email. So this is uh, one of the nice built-in reports that, uh, that gives you some auditing statistics. Now, going back to the, uh, the asset itself, we've got our bi-directional linkage with WSRR to the service specification. So let's go right over into WSRR. And now we have, of course, our runtime view. And uh, this gives us uh, the service specification, uh, which is linked. Uh, he, we've got the graphical view, uh, as I've shown before. And then we've got the, um, uh, the complete activity trail for auditing purposes. So if you look at this uh, in the activity for the object itself, you've got the date, the username, the activity, and you can actually see the transitions for the asset as it's gone through its uh, governance lifecycle as well. 
and you can see you can you can compare this with rational asset manager and you can actually see how the states and uh, the governance life cycles are managed between the two and you've got this comprehensive audit trail uh, between the two products so between uh, the runtime world here in WSRR and the development world for the assets and in rational asset manager and the uh, the uh, federated linkage between the two you've got a complete picture for auditing and for planning your services